Good day everyone. I am Nerlin Magdalia Salis, your teacher demonstrator for today. Good morning class. So before we start our lesson for today, let's first have a prayer. So may I request Miss Villarin to please lead us a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So before you sit down, please arrange your chairs and pick up some pieces of papers and rush under your chairs. Ayan, very good. So good morning everyone. Yes, good morning. How was your day so far? Mm, glad to hear that. Let's now check your attendance. So please say present when your name is called. Let's begin with Asne, Agustin, Kausing, Everdoni, Grenada, Sina Rosa, Sumambot, and Villarin. Wow, everybody's present. That's very good. Do we have any assignments last meeting? Yes, so please pass your assignments in the center aisle in the count of 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's have first a review of our lesson last meeting. So what is our lesson last meeting all about? Yes, Mr. Kalsing. So our lesson last meeting is all about the earthquake. Ms. Sumambot, can you tell us more about what is earthquake? Very good, Ms. Sumambot. How about you, Ms. Narasa? What have you learned in our lesson last meeting? Okay, very good. We also emphasize the location of our country, which is the Philippines, along the Pacific Ring of... Very good, along the Pacific Ring of Fire. That is why our country is prone to... Yes, earthquakes. But aside from that being prone to earthquake, our country, Philippines, is also home to something. And that something is our lesson for today. I will gonna show you some pictures and you will tell me what is it all about. So let's begin with the first picture. So what is this picture all about? Yes? Okay, very good. A mountain. For how about the second picture? Yes? The mountain is smoking. Very good. How about the third picture? It's look like it's erupting very good so can you tell me what is your guess for our lesson for today our lesson for today is all about very good volcanoes so our country philippines is also home to volcanoes when you hear the word volcano what comes first in your mind yes mr granada yeah, okay. Eruption. Thank you. How about you, Ms. Sumambot? Love of flow. Okay, thank you. How about you, Ms. Villarin? Yes, it might be also a source of energy. How about you, Mr. Kausing? Okay, thank you. Have any one of you here experienced volcanic eruption? None so far. And that's good because we never wanted to experience such a thing. These are our objectives for our lesson for today. At the end of the lesson, you students will be able to please everyone read. Very good. First, you will be able to differentiate the active and inactive volcanoes. Second, you will be able to explain what happens when a volcano erupts. And lastly, you will gonna present a creative presentation on how the volcanic eruption affect the society. Before we proceed to our lesson, let's first have an activity. So I will gonna group you into four. So this will gonna be the group one, the group two, the group three, and the group four. For this activity, using the copy of the Philippine map that I will be providing for each group, you will plot the location of the volcanoes that are listed in the table that I will gonna show to you. And you will also assign colors for these volcanoes and will indicate this in the region. So are we clear? Any questions? None? Okay, so let's make this activity for 10 minutes. Time's up. So please paste your outputs here in front. Let's now discuss some series of questions regarding the activity that you have done. Based on your activity, are all the volcanoes found in the same location? Yes, group 1. 
Okay, very good. So which of the volcanoes had the most number of eruptions? Yes, group 2. Very good. How about least number of eruptions? Any representative from group 2? Okay. No record of eruption. Yes. Okay, very good. How will you classify volcanoes that have records of eruption? Yes, group 3. Mm -hmm. Yes, they may be classified as active volcanoes. Very good. Group 4. How will you classify volcanoes that have no record of eruption? They are classified as? Very good. They are classified as inactive volcanoes. A volcano is an opening in the Earth's crust through which lava, volcanic ash, and gases escape. How do we classify if the volcanoes is active or inactive? So active volcanoes are those volcanoes that have record of eruptions within the last 600 years or those that have erupted 10,000 years ago based on the analysis of their materials. Inactive volcanoes on the other hand are those volcanoes that have not erupted for the last 10,000 years and their physical form is being changed by agents of weathering and erosion. What happens when a volcano erupts? So volcanoes erupt differently and we have here five types of volcanic eruptions. Miss Aztec, can you read the first type of volcanic eruption? Okay, thank you. Phreatic or hydrothermal is a stream-driven volcanic eruption as the hot rocks come in contact with water. It is short-lived, characterized by ash columns, but may be an onset of a larger eruption. So the example of this type of volcanic eruption is the Taal Volcano, which is found in Batangas. Mr. Kausing, can you read the second type of volcanic eruption? Okay, thank you. Friato magmatic volcanic eruption is a violent eruption due to the contact of water and magma. As a result, a large column of very fine ash and high speed and sideway emission of pyroclastic cold base surges are observed. So some submarine volcanoes are also friato magmatic. So one example of it is the surge say in Iceland. So the eruption of this volcano have formed a new island. So that how violent that eruption is. Miss Everdoni, please read the third type. Okay, very good. Strombolian is a periodic, weak to violent volcanic eruption that is characterized by fountain lava, just like the Irazu volcano in Costa Rica. Miss Rosa, please read the fourth type. Okay, thank you. The Volcanian is characterized by tall eruption columns that reach up to 20 km high with pyroclastic flow and ashfall tephra, just like the Paricotin volcano that is found in Mexico. Miss Villarine, please read the last type. Okay, thank you. The last one is the Plinian. So Plinian is an excessively explosive type of volcanic eruption of gas and Pyroclastics, so just like the Pinatubo volcano that is found in Zambales. So class, what do you think is the most violent type of volcanic eruption? Friate magmatic, Strombolian, Plinian. Yes, all of the mentioned type of volcanic eruptions are really violent in their own ways, and we don't want to experience such a thing, right? Okay, let's proceed. How do these volcanic eruptions affect the society? So volcanic eruptions are really associated with negative effects, but volcanoes also affect people positively. So let's discuss this in more details. What do you think is its negative effects? Yes, Miss Asne. Yes, it may cause loss of lives and properties. Why? Because the lava flows or the pyroclastic materials that are ejected from the volcanoes can destroy everything or anything that it's on its way. How about the positive effects of volcanic eruption? Yes, Ms. Mambot. Okay, very good. So volcanic eruption can produce rich soils for farming years after a volcano has erupted. Very good. 
let's now proceed to another activity. So using the same group, you will gonna present a creative presentation on how the volcanoes affect the society. You can present your answers through a creative presentation just like a rap song, a hugot line, jingle, dramatization, a poem, or anything that you might like. You will be graded according to the rubric, creativity 40%, Content or message, 40%, stage presence, 10%, and audience impact, 10% with a total of 100%. So your 10 minutes starts now. Thank you everyone for participating in the activity. Now let's test what you have learned. Please get a one-half sheet of paper because we will going to have a short quiz. Okay, done. So please pass your papers in the center aisle in the count of 5, 4, 3, two and one okay thank you do you have any questions regarding to what we have discussed today none okay so for your assignment in a one whole sheet of paper write the things to do before during and after a volcanic eruption are we clear any questions none okay if none i think that would be all for today goodbye everyone goodbye so see you next meeting and god bless